Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you a quick way you can experiment with noises when you're doing particle setups, so you can create some very interesting patterns. In this empty scene, I'm going to add a basic emitter, go to the Emission tab and change the shape to Sphere, and I want to shoot 100,000 static particles. So go to the properties and set the velocity to zero. Now we have these 100,000 particles just sitting there doing nothing. Let's zoom in a bit and uh, get a better view. And now these are the particles in their starting positions. The next thing you need to do is go to the simulate menu forces, add a field force, set the velocity type to set absolute velocity so that the field force is the only force that absolutely controls the particle velocity, which means direction and speed. Set this to a value of 10 and add a random field in the list. Make sure you don't add it to the masking field, but add it to the object field list. The last thing you need to do is with the random field selected, go to the direction change the length to normalize and invert the direction. Now we can start playing with noises. Let's make some space here in the attribute manager and make sure you select the field tab so you can see the random noises parameters. I'm going to start my animation and if you want to turn off the field force so you don't have to see these vectors, you can just do it over here. Now let's focus on the particles and uh, the things you need to play around with. The noise type is one, and you can select any noise type you wish. The second one is the scale, to change the scale of the noise. And the third one is the animation speed. And just by changing these three parameters and experimenting with them, make sure you wait for the animation to loop around, because if you change the noise type midway, through your animation, this is going to affect the particles from that point onwards, where it's clearer if they start from their static position what each noise does. And that's all you need to do. Uh, make notes on uh, what noise types, at what scales, and at what animation speeds give you what patterns, and then just use those parameters whenever you want to do specific particle setups. You can extend this by combining these noises and using masks and fields and secondary field forces and so forth, but that's up to you to experiment with. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.